Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today we are going to be taking a look at something that I am so excited to have finally received. This is the little box that we're going to be opening today um, and I have been dying inside waiting to open this because I wanted to do it on camera with you guys. This is from a an indie perfume house and I would say it's indie slash niche. Uh, indie only because it's not mass marketed but niche because I believe that the quality that we're gonna find with this and the materials that are used make it niche. So without further ado I will tell you the fragrance house that we are talking about is called Meleg Perfumes. Uh, he is an individual perfumer and he is doing uh, or making perfumes in the vintage style with top quality raw materials. He is using uh, real oak moss, real ethically sourced civet, uh, real ingredients the way that perfume used to be made back in the day. So that we all are, all of us perfume lovers that remember perfumes like that are pining for perfumes like this in the modern day. And thankfully we have artisan perfumeries that are catering to this little niche section of the market that really want to see these types of perfumes come back. Uh, he is not following the IRFA compliance regulations for allergens and all of those things, so if you know that you are allergic to oak moss, if you know that you're allergic to these real ingredients, definitely do your research um, and, you know, purchase based on that, on the research you come up with based on your own kind of, you know, body and your own health. So. With that being said, let's just jump right into this because I am so, so happy and I can't wait any longer. So he did send a little card along. I do believe anybody that purchases a bottle of perfume from him will get one of, <clears throat> will get one of these beautiful cards. It just says thank you so much and then there is just a beautiful little paragraph here that he has written. Um, I will tell you, I have communicated back and forth with Matthew and he is such a lovely person. Just just one of those people that you instantly feel connected to, like you've known him for years, like you can talk to him like a real human being. Um, and just my favorite type of people on the planet. He is very down to earth and I haven't spent a ton of time talking back and forth with him, but enough that uh, he's just really a very, very cool person. I did not ask him because he did send me some videos of some of the materials that he's using, uh, things like that, and he sent me a couple of videos that he made of himself showing his materials, explaining different things, and I did not ask his permission to include any of that footage in my video, or I would have definitely and maybe I'll do another video and I'll, I'll get his permission to include some of that and I'll do another video but anyways let's open this little box <clears throat> excuse me it came packaged beautifully it comes with um, some packing material here and I'm not gonna lie I did take a little tiny peek but I did not open it I just had to see it because it's so beautiful I knew what it was gonna look like and I knew it was just gonna be beautiful so let's very carefully take the packaging out. I can't, <laughs> I cannot describe to you how excited I am right now. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes packaged. You can order these bottles two different ways. So you can order them just um, like a normal perfume bottle or he will do the special, like his special way of packaging the perfume which is how mine came and that is with the string and the wax seal so it's beautiful the bottle in itself is a work of art and just how this just the attention to detail it's beautifully beautifully wrapped in this twine and then he has a beautiful real wax seal with his initial and it's just gorgeous so uh, let's talk a little bit about this before we get into popping this little wax seal and smelling this and spraying it on the skin. So, 
I am going to read to you directly from his Etsy shop, uh, which I will tell you, his fragrances are available on Etsy. He also has his own standalone website. I will leave everything for you linked down below. And let's just talk about this scent. So this is, sorry, let me tell you what scent we're talking about. This is Civet Cat Shebra, perfume number 50, Civet Cat Shebra, with 100% real civet musk by Meleg Perfumes. So, in his own words, this is a true animalic scent. Civet Cat Perfume at 30 mil volume with 80% natural oils, musks, and absolutes. My number 50 perfume is Sexual Confidence in a Bottle, a natural aphrodisiac. She is made with eth ethically harvested, genuine Ethiopian civet musk. Uh, two bottle style styles are available. Like I said, the normal uh, bottle with the Malig Perfumes logo, made for, from French... Okay, uh, the normal bottle with the Meleg Perfumes logo made from French glass, high quality, simple and attractive, or you could do the gift wrapped one, which is this here, which is uh, with string and the beautiful wax seal. Um, that is an additional $15 Canadian to do that, which uh, depending on where you are, that will de you know determine how much extra it would be for you. So, this perfume smells of rose and jasmine, but also of female sex organs, sweat, and animal fur. Uh, my number 50 was designed for people who don't mind smelling a little bit dirty. Because this perfume is loaded with natural material, she remains close to the skin, and the dry down is far more luxurious and diffusive than the opening. I should warn you, civet is extremely addictive, and if you've never smelled real civet, now is your chance. I've known plenty of converts, people who swear by animal musk and never return to clean-smelling office perfumes again. So the top notes on this are bergamot, sweet orange, and aldehydes. Middle notes are rose otto, cedarwood, and carrot seed. And the base notes are orris powder, real sandalwood, which is very, very expensive and very, very hard to come by. Uh, labdanum, tonka bean absolute, and real civet paste. So that is what is in this bottle here, and I can't even tell you how excited I am to get into this. So let's just go ahead, and I hate to... I hate to cut it because it's so gorgeous. Like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin it, but we're going to have to. It's beautiful if I'm ever going to smell it. So for all of you older ladies out there that watch uh, my channel, I think that, and have been asking me so many questions about older and vintage perfumes, those of you that are vintage lovers like myself, I think that you will just be so pleased with something like this. The only other perfumer or house that I know that is making fragrances like this is uh, Rogue Perfumery. And I definitely hesitate to compare these two houses because obviously they are, yes, in the same vein, have the same style, but are obviously very um, unique from each other but with that being said these are the only two um, perfumers that I know that are uh, not using the or not following the IRFA regulations and are also uh, using real genuine materials like this I think all I had to do was cut the top part. Leave it to me to do something wrong because if I can do something wrong, I always will. Because <laughs> I'm not, I don't always have the most common sense in the world, which I can totally admit to. So let's just do this. So I just made a huge mess of my bottle, but I fixed it and I'm my wax seal is intact, which is the most important thing to me, which I wish I would have taken more time to carefully look at that to see how to unpackage it properly, but that's okay. The bottle is gorgeous. It says on the side here, uh, Civet Cat Shebra, number 50. This is a stunning bottle. It is the glass is thick and gorgeous. You can see on the bottom just how thick that glass is. 
it's just gorgeous so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> oh, I can already smell it I'm just gonna spray this on my hand and I'm gonna give it a good few sprays oh gosh first oh my goodness the the first initial um, spray I can smell the jasmine I can smell the dirtiness of that civet I can definitely smell the rose and the aldehyde. Oh, this is super old school, guys. This smells like true vintage perfumery. It's very animalic, uh, very animalic. So if you're not into those vintage old animalic type perfumes, you will not like this, but this is stunning. It is very dirty smelling. It's got a little bit of a, it's got some barnyard. I'm really getting the animal notes right now. That civet is very, very strong. It's almost, it's almost a little poopy, but I'm, I'm quite sure because it's very different smelling from when I first sprayed it, but it's changing before my nose. Like every time I go back to smell my hand, it's changed just a little bit. Oh gosh, now the civet is uh, backing off a little bit. It's not quite so strong. The poopiness has gone away. And now I'm being left with the florals are really starting to bloom. They're really starting to come forward. I think this perfume would be stunning in the cold weather. Oh gosh, the heat of my skin is really transforming this fragrance. Oh gosh, now the rose is coming forward again. I'm smelling the jasmine. But the jasmine is very light, like in the background. Oh, I can smell the sandalwood now. The softness of the sandalwood is really coming forward. Mm, I'm getting a little bit of the tonka as well. The civet is really starting to kind of take a... Well, I, w I don't want to say it's taking a back seat. It really is the base for this fragrance. So though it is um, toning down a little bit and some of the other notes are really starting to come forward, you can definitely still smell it. Mm. It's a little bit woody from the cedar wood. Oh, goodness. The labdanum, you can really smell that as well. It's not, it's, this perfume is so well blended that it is difficult for my nose to pick out these different notes. Oh, but nonetheless, they are all beautiful. Mm. I can smell the auras. And the aldehydes are definitely there keeping a, uh, brightness or maintaining the brightness of the perfume so that though it's quite heavy and quite um, there's quite a lot going on the aldehydes keep it bright and airy it's really really beautiful this is not for everybody this is definitely um, this perfume is definitely uh, for those of you out there that know that you love vintage style perfumery, that uh, know what real musk smells like, or sorry, real uh, civet or real animalic notes smell like, um, it's beautiful. This is beautiful. This is a an absolute work of art. Uh, you can tell so much goes into these fragrances. Oh, it's beautiful. It's really starting to soften up now. The florals are starting to come out. Oh, it's really, it's becoming much more wearable as it dries down. It's gorgeous. Fragrances like this, the only fragrance that I have in my collection at the moment that I could even compare this to would be Samsara from Guerlain, but the, it's not even in the same like this is just so beautiful and vintage where a samsara is not but it's deep and um 
I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I don't even know. I can't really compare the two, but that's the only fragrance that I have in my collection that I could compare this to. It's gorgeous. It's really, now that it's drying down, this is really reminding me of like just old vintage style perfume. Perfumes that I smelled on women when I was a child. Um, perfumes that people used to wear, but you can't find them anymore. There's just not, there just aren't very many people making fragrances like this anymore. Um, he does have so many other perfumes available on his website. He's got a beautiful amber perfume. Um, I was browsing through his Etsy page the other night and I was like, oh my gosh, he's got so many beautiful things. So I will definitely, uh, like I say, link his Etsy page as well as his uh, standalone website down below. Um, yeah, I hope that that was a good, I, I'm, I hope that that was a decent review of this. Um, I typically put more preparation into my videos, but I really just wanted to experience this one blindly, and it's gorgeous. It's changing. This is one of those fragrances that is just going to continue to change throughout the entire wear time. It's getting a little bit softer. Um, just like he says in his description of this, I do believe this one would wear closer to the skin, so it wouldn't be like overly offensive for anybody. It's just, I can smell, I feel like I can smell the Oris powder. There's a slight powder, powderiness to this that is just gorgeous. It's beautiful. This is warm and comforting. It's like I've got a beautiful blanket on when I smell this. Oh gosh, it's just this is a beautiful, comforting scent. So anyways, guys, that is my um, unboxing and kind of first impressions and a little bit of a review of uh, Meleg Perfumes. And um, this is, sorry, of Meleg Perfumes Civet Cat Shepra. Uh, Matthew Meleg is a lovely person and I highly recommend you checking out his stuff. Definitely, again, I will have everything linked below for you. I do hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what is on my eyes and on my lips today. So on my eyes, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I have been having a lot of fun with this Tarte. It is called the BU Palette. I'm not going to lie, I pretty much bought this because it's so gorgeous. The, the, uh, how it's pressed with like the honeycomb and the little bees. And, but I really am enjoying this eyeshadow palette. It's um, been a lot of fun to play with. So yeah, I really love it. And then on my lips today, I have a Flower Beauty, and this is called Spiced Petal. And I bought this lipstick because Emily Noel um, did like a Charlotte Tilbury, uh, Til Tilbury, Tilbury, um, slash drugstore dupes video. And this lipstick is basically a complete spot on dupe for uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. So I went ahead and picked it up, and I really love this lipstick. Not only is it a beautiful color, but the formula is really, really nice. So any, anyways, that is, um, so again, that is Flower Beauty Spiced Petal. That is what I have on my eyes and my cheeks. My eyes and my cheeks, I'm sorry. That is what I have on my eyes and my lips today. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful for you. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.